Alright, good morning guys. It's been a minute. Um, I've been going through some uh, personal things and uh, I wasn't in the right mind to be able to uh, video this, but I need to uh, be myself again and do the things that I enjoy doing also. So, um, we're here in Junction, Texas. I stopped here last night. Um, we picked up out of Houston yesterday um, a crane boom and a uh, counterweight and then I think it's like a jig or something um, with these there's multiple ways that you can uh, you can strap it I've heard multiple things they don't put anything in the middle because it can bend them um, these are extremely thick booms um, and I don't I didn't crank crank down on them either um, the one thing I did notice and I had to check so if you can see you have this 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 boom and then there's one right here which is actually an inner one um, I thought they were connected at first um, they do have these straps right here um, but I went ahead also and uh, put a couple belly straps on there just to be on the safe side use chains on the I use two chains um, on the weight. It's only 10,000 pounds, or actually it's 20,000 tons, it's 10 ton. Um, and then I have two straps on this jig, but I've been keeping an eye on everything, making sure it's not moving. Um, this is going to Long Beach. And uh, we'll see uh, what we get out of there and where we go. Um, Alrighty, good morning. We uh, we made it to uh, Deming here in New Mexico. Um, the plan for today is probably to stop near uh, Coachella, and uh, we'll head towards Long Beach in the morning uh, for delivery. There's not much to. Or, there's not really anywhere to stop uh, past that area in uh, Palm Springs, um, which I'm sure will be filled by the time I get there. So we're going to uh, let this truck finish getting warmed up. I already did the pre-trip, checked all my straps and chains, and uh, we're gonna get uh, going on this beautiful day here. It's about 45 degrees here in New Mexico, and. Um, the sun is peeking out through the clouds now, so as long as the 10 is in a, uh, a shit show again, because um, if you guys have gone through the 10 in El Paso into New Mexico, it was like going into California. It was um, absolutely terrible. Um, they have the whole 10 shut down right now, going westbound, and you're basically just going all on the frontage roads and the service roads over, and it's just a nightmare. So with that said, I'm going to get going here and uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Hey, good morning y'all. I didn't get much video. Um, it's just driving down the 10. Um, literally drove down the 10 to the 91 or the 60 to the 91 and then it's right here. Um, you've seen me come this way when I deliver up here and uh, by coastline John Deere here. So as you can see. Uh, there's plenty of uh, people so we're gonna be sitting here for a while and uh, I'll try to get you guys uh, some some content when I actually go to unload um, I got nine about nine hours left on my 70 I'll gain just shy of three um, tonight and then following is like over eight nine ten eleven hours so um but i did just notice this i don't know if you can see you see that old peterbilt sitting there that's it's awesome um i don't know if this is really considered long beach but i guess it is um but either way, like I said, I'll try to get some content for you guys when I uh, 
go to actually unload this all right y'all so we are unloaded um i wasn't able to get any video um there was a lot of us stacked up on each other and they were trying to get us in and out in and out in and out um so right now i am sitting just on the outside of their gate and uh waiting for a load tomorrow Alrighty, look at that sky. It looks way different in the phone. It's kind of funny. Um, anyways, we are on the 15. Uh, we are headed to Las Vegas. We uh, stayed at the receiver yesterday. Um, just outside their gate, waiting for a load. I didn't want to move since I'm running low on my 70. Um, right now I have just shy of nine hours left on my 70 and um, we're gonna pick up a telehandler for uh, United Rentals and then we're gonna bring that to Yuma which I'm assuming I've there we'll get more chassis it's just a matter of when because um, of holidays I gotta see who's open when's open you know whatever so um, we left, uh, I don't remember, sometime this morning, 7.30, 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. It's, uh, now 11, um, we're about an hour or so away, but, uh, we're gonna get here and do this, and, uh, I'm probably not gonna get very far, I don't wanna use all this time up, because... I'm only getting like 9 or 10 hours back tonight, and then it's like 9, 9, 9, some, somewhere around there, so um, I'm going to attempt, and it really just depends on who's open and if it makes sense um, to do a 34 now or later, you know, so just want to give you guys a heads up, and uh, I'm going to try to get back on the grind of making videos. Um, I wasn't really in the right mindset to make these, to be honest with you. Um, but we're going to keep pushing forward and uh, we're going to stay on the, the path God wants us on and um, keep pushing and moving forward. So. I'm going to uh, get over this mountain down the other side and we should be at least in Nevada. I believe that's where I'm at uh, once you get over here. It's been a minute since I went this way. So. And then, um, like I said, we'll get this picked up and uh, make our way south out which way I'm going to go that route. Um, I might even just do the 93 south to uh, what is it, 84 or 86, something like that. And then uh, see where we go from there. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. And uh, We'll keep on pushing. Alright y'all, hopefully you can hear me. Um, we're picking up a pretty heavy telehandler. We got that uh, X chain in the front. It's two chains and two binders. I got one chain in the center and then uh, one chain and two binders in the back. I uh, folded the mirror down, took the key, folded the mirrors in. Hopefully I'm good on weight. It's supposed to be 37,000 pounds, so it's a, it's a pretty heavy guy, but uh, we're gonna get going. Um, truck is uh, absolutely disgusting. Um, and I mean absolutely disgusting. So hopefully we can get her washed up here. Um, yeah, we're gonna get uh, go get weighed and uh, get on our way. Alrighty, y'all, we are on our way. Uh, we are going over, I uh, believe, the Hoover. I used to go this way all the damn time.
I said. I'll look back and then uh, I'll, uh, I'll repeat. I forgot my windows were open. Um, but like I said, we just went over the Hoover Dam. And um, we're good on weights. My, uh, my drives are only at 31,000. And my axle is like 27 total. Or my trailer, I mean. So. And we, uh, we weigh about 70,000 pounds. On the paperwork, it says this is supposed to weigh 37.7. And I don't think it does. But. Um, I just gotta figure out which way I'm gonna go down. Because I don't like taking the 95 down. Going through California. So. I'll probably take the 93. And then down to Yuma. This is uh, going to United Rentals right by Peterbilt where we pick up the chassis. So. But I got six hours on my 70. I'll gain another nine with some change back tonight. So.
I'll catch you guys here in a couple minutes when we uh, get closer and we, uh, we pull in.